everybody, how's it going? I'm Groovy Love Squirrel Medic and welcome back to another GBHR Groovy's Brutally Honest Reactions. And we are in Jeff Week and it has been an awesome week so far. I've heard songs that I've never heard before. I've heard songs that are some of my favorite songs, but we're going to continue. Today I got a song that I don't know if I know or not. Uh, it's a song called Big Bad John and I'm looking at the description it says... It's by Jimmy Dean, and I'm like, the sausage guy? I, I don't know, back in the 60s. Uh, I can't wait to see what it is. I may know it. I may know it after I've heard a little bit of it. But uh, if you're enjoying this week, make sure to like, share, subscribe, do all that good stuff. We're going to get right into it because I'm not going to waste any more time. So let's get our headphones on. Woo! All right, let's get it pulled up in three, two, one, set. See, I had to change it up a little bit because I was like, tss, before, now I'm, tss, ha, 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 ha. Don't worry about me. I'm just a little bit delusional right now. Just not feeling good for so long. All right, so, Big Bad John, low bass singer cover, our man, Jeff. So here we go in three, two, one, let's rock. Every morning at the mine, you could see him arrive. He stood six foot six, weighed 245, kind of broad at the shoulder and narrow with the hip. And everybody knew you didn't give no lip to Big John. Big John, Big John, Big Bad John. Big John. Well, nobody seemed to know where John. John. Big John. <laughs> Well, nobody seemed to know where John called home. He just drifted into town and stayed all alone. Didn't say much, kind of quiet and shy. And if he spoke at all, he just said hi to Big John. Somebody said he came from New Orleans, where he got into a fight over a Cajun queen and a crashing blow from a huge right hand sent a Louisiana fella to the promised land. Big John, come on. Men started crying, miners were praying and hearts beat fast, and everybody thought they'd breathe their last. Except John. Big John. Big John. Big bad John. Through the dust and the smoke of this man made hell, walked a giant of a man that the miners knew well. Grabbed a sagging timber and gave out with a groan, and like a giant oak tree, he just stood there alone. Big See, now I, I think every time they say Big John, I'm thinking of what, I don't remember his name, the actor. Uh, I feel bad because he's gone now, rest in peace. From the Green Mile, I think of him as like Big John. Just like, I'm tired, boss. And just picking up stuff and then like, uh, I don't know. I, I, I don't know this song. Like, it sounds vaguely familiar. I'll have to call my dad and like, Dad, do you know this song? Because, you know, he's old. Er, older, he's older. But uh, yeah, I it sounds familiar, but I don't think I know it. I may have heard it in passing, like my dad when he was listening to radio back in the day or something. I don't know. Bad job. Whoa. And with all of his strength, he gave a mighty shove. Then a miner yelled out, There's a light up above. And his 20 men scrambled from a would-be grave There was only one left down there to save Big Bad John Big John Big John Big John With Jack 
stacks and timbers, they started back down. Then came that rumble way down on the ground, and as smoke and gas belched out of that mine, everybody knew it was the end of the line for John. Except for Big John. He knew better. Now they never reopened that worthless pit. They just placed a marble slab in front of it. And these few words are written on that stand. At the bottom of this mine lies a big, big man. Big John, Big John. Eardrums are rattling, man. Oh. Thanks to the patrons. All right, Big Bad John. This is what I love about music. Like we did during voice play, we had like, uh, we did Hall of the Mountain King. And like I talked about how just music can tell a story. Uh, how I used to grow up in like in kindergarten and first grade, like my teacher had like a picture book that went along with the music. Like I'm listening to this song, Big Bad John, and I'm 100% sure I've never heard that song before. I would have remembered that story. But. I can actually, you actually picture the whole thing. Usually when you listen to music nowadays, like, oh, I'm in love with the girl or I'm in love with this guy. And there's no like actual story. It's just exposition the whole time where it's like just an inner monologue. This one actually tells a story and I love it so much. Does it take number one though? And here's the thing. For me, it does. And I'm going to tell you why. One, the alliteration, the story. Granted, Jeff didn't write it, but it's a cover. But the alliteration is great. And just some of his bass, the richness, like literally my eardrums were vibrating. I mean, they're always vibrating. That's how you receive sound. But I'm saying like I could, it was rattling with that bass. And I think that is some of the best bass I've heard Jeff do since we started this uh, route. So right now, Big Bad John is number one. Did not see this coming, especially a song that I've never heard before. I'm going to have to call my dad after I'm done recording this and find out uh, what he thinks about Big Bad John. But I want to know what you think. Oh, and don't forget, every time I do one of these videos, I completely forget, if you are not a subscriber to Jeff's channel, uh, go to his channel and subscribe. This I, I'm not trying to steal people's work or anything i'm just trying to react to it so make sure you subscribe to their channel too and mine and uh let me know what you think in the comments down below <clears throat> so thank y'all very much for watching i am groovy lava squirrel medic and from me to you all of you in the squirrel army i love you i thank you and we'll see you on the next one guys see you in a little bit bye <laughs>